my name is Janet Draper and I'm the horticulturist for the Mary Livingston Ripley Garden. Choosing the plants that, that go into the Ripley Garden, first of all, I'm looking to build a beautiful garden, but also a garden that provides for others. A garden doesn't have to be just about beauty. It can provide so much more to insects and visitors, whether they have two legs or 22 legs. You know, we all need food, water, and shelter. So plant it and the insects will come. It's amazing. This garden is only a third of an acre. It's a tiny space, but it's amazing. The migratory birds will find it. The caterpillars will find it. The, the butterflies, you know, will, will be floating around here. All you have to do is plant the right things and don't use chemicals to destroy them. And the insects will come. What has surprised me the most is the disparity or the lack of connection with humans and plants and insects. People have been so neat and tidy and clean and they've forgotten that the insects need food and shelter. And even when I was going to school, it was a good plant was one that, that had no pests, no diseases, no this and that. Well, we're now realizing those pests that we're coming to the plants, those are the essential insects that we all rely on for our food. Our livelihood depends on insects. And we've, we've forgotten that. And we're getting back to insects are essential. So, you know, embracing insects. Some of the, the, the challenges are like being okay with holes in the foliage. So you've got to, just learn to relax a little bit, learn that a garden will never be perfect, and just sit back and watch the beauty that, that comes in. And that extra element of movement of the insects in your garden. As the horticulturist in the Ripley Garden, yeah, every day I am asked a thousand and one questions, which is why I'm out here. I want to help people be better gardeners and be better stewards of the land. So when I see people come out, I've got a calamantha in the back that's just buzzing with insects, and watching a school group sort of surrounding that plant and just watching and seeing the magic of nature that just makes me so happy.